Hello friends, we'll be discussing the form of market, the second form and industry. Now, the two forms that we have discussed or rather the first of the two forms that we have discussed earlier was the form. Now we'll be discussing an industry here. Now what in exactly industry means here is an industry is a set of firms. So basically an industry is a compilation of all firms here. Conceptually close associated with the sense of having some common types of activities. Now what exactly are those common types of activities is what we are going to learn. A good example of industry will be is a set of firms which are producing certain types of manufactured goods or providing certain type of services. Now what kind of industry would example be like? So where there are a set of firms or rather different firms which are selling out certain goods and services, that compilation can be called up as an industry here. Now, the goods supplied by the firms of industry may be homogeneous, that means it may be common like tires in the sense that the buyers believe in the products of substitutes of each other. Whereby, let's take an example where we have like different tire companies, there is TVS, MRF, Parashil, there are different, different companies that we have. But the common or rather the product is very common. It is just that the different substitutes are available whereby you understand that this tire is better than the, this tire or rather there is two different tires or there are different tires which are absolutely better than the earlier one. So according to your choices, according to your budget to select the specific company, you select the specific product and then you go ahead and purchase that thing. So compilation of all these kind of firms which are selling out homogeneous products or which may be selling out homogeneous product can be called as an industry here. Now, there are different definitions related to it. A consignment of the good by itself does not provide the identity of the supplier. Now, just like you're selling out tires doesn't give out an identity of what kind of supplier you are. You need to have a brand name for it. Now, the buyer therefore are indifferent between the sources of supply. Instead, they select between alternative supply firms by comparing the prices being asked by them. Now, in contrast, the industry may also comprise those firms which are producing differentiated products. There may be a different industry whereby there are different firms in them which produce different products in here. Continuation of topic. Now, this means that the product of one firm can be distinguished from that of the other. Just like the tire examples that I gave, you can absolutely distinguish how MRF tires are different from TVS tires or it may be different from C8 tires. So these three companies will have different kind of tires, but the product is itself is tire. So there is a homogeneous product, but different types, different categories of tires are available with them. Hence, they are perfect competition here. The buyers do not consider the product of different firms as perfect substitutes. However, if the firms are belong to one industry, then the products may be close substitute here. Buyer won't consider these products to be different or rather perfect substitutes. But if they belong to the same industry or rather these manufacturing industries belong to the same industry here or rather these firms belong to the same industry, they can be close substitute of each other. Hence, instead of MRF tires, you can opt for C8. Instead of C8, you can opt for TVS and different companies altogether. Now, there is no predetermined number of firms which an industry must have. There is no predetermined statutory requirement that an industry should have 10 firms to call themselves as an industry. It can be n number of industries, n number of firms in that industry here. The market can vary according to the structure of or rather their number can vary according to the structure of the market here. At one extreme, it may have only one firm which is called a case of monopoly or rather one firm industry. At other extreme, the industry may have many such firms and this kind or rather it is not able to influence. If there are one firm or rather there is just one firm in that industry, it is a monopolic industry. But if there are different firms, they have no control on the price. They cannot influence the price here. Just like the competition or rather they have, you have different kind of car brand market. Hence, you need to keep like a sedan between a segregated value depending on the kind of services you are providing in that sedan here or rather in the cars here. Now, between these two extremes, there are several other possibilities. Now, what exactly are those possibilities is what we are going to learn about these different options. So, the various kind of markets prevailing in this industry are like perfect competition. The next one will be monopoly. The next one will be monopolistic competition. And the next one will be oligopoly. So, all these things, all these kind of markets, we'll be understanding these kind of markets in the future videos. But right now, these are the different kind of out of the monopolistics like this one whereby you have owned one extreme that is monopoly and the next extreme being perfect here in between you have these many options that are available here so 
हैं मेक श्योर दीज काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म्स यू आर वेरी फॉर्म अबाउट और अदर यू नो डिटेल्स ऑफ दीज काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म्स दैट्स इट फॉर द वीडियो थैंक यू